This conference will now be recorded. In this video, we will define what leads are in Dynamics 365 and walk through how to create them. A lead is someone with an interest in what you're selling. Most sales processes begin with leads, which are considered temporary records in Dynamics 365. Let's hop in and create a lead record. Once you're in Dynamics, in the site map, select leads. You're going to click the new button to add a new lead. You can follow the process bar to enter data into fields and move the leads into the next stage. If you're creating the lead for new customers, enter the name and contact information as well as the company. If you're creating the lead for an existing account or contact, in the qualified stage of the process bar, select the existing contact or account. When you select an existing contact, the first name, last name, job title, business phone, mobile phone, and email address fields are automatically populated. When you select an existing account, the company will be automatically populated. For this example, I am going to use an existing contact and an existing account. You'll see that once I added that, the company and contact information are populated automatically. Now, before we can save the lead, we need to make sure that all of the required fields are populated. You can tell that a field is required because it has a red asterisk next to the name of the field. The topic just tells us a little bit more about what this lead is interested in. So I'm just going to add consulting services to note that this lead is interested in our consulting services. Once all of my required fields are populated, I can click Save. Once I click Save, we see the timeline section, which is available to add any notes or activities related to this lead. And we also see the stakeholder section. A stakeholder is a key contact at this account who will be involved in decision making. Abe was automatically added as a stakeholder because he is the main contact on this lead, but I could also add a new connection, choosing a new contact that may also be a stakeholder at the company for this lead. In the details area of the lead form, you can enter information about your lead's industry and preferred contact method. Once you've entered information on the command bar, click Save. You can also import leads in bulk if you have more than one to create at a time. Once the lead record has been created in CRM, it's time to nurture the lead through to qualification. Typically, during the lead qualification process, there will be communication with the lead in order to gather additional details and gauge their true interest. After communicating with the lead, you can choose to qualify the lead, meaning they will become a client, or disqualify them, choosing a reason why you don't think they're a good fit. For example, if a salesperson meets someone at a trade show and gets a business card, they might not know if this person is a viable customer. It's only after the salesperson researches and engages with the individual that they can determine if their needs align with what their organization can deliver. Not only are leads used to determine, used to determine if an organization is a good fit for the customer, but they also help determine if the customer is a good fit for the organization. If the lead is considered a viable customer, they would be qualified and moved to the next stage of the sales process. If they are not a viable customer, the lead would be disqualified. This is why the lead record is often considered a temporary record while determining the viability. As stated, if it is determined that the lead is not a good fit, the lead would be disqualified and the sales cycle would end. To disqualify a lead, you would click disqualify and then choose why the lead is considered a disqualified lead. At that point, it would be a closed lead and it would no longer show up in your open leads views. However, if it is determined that everyone is a good fit, the lead is qualified to an opportunity. If the lead is an existing customer, a new opportunity is created and associated with an existing account and or contact record. If the lead is a new customer, a new account, contact, and opportunity record will be created. Let's qualify this lead. 
You'll notice that once the lead is qualified, the opportunity will open and the business process flow will have advanced to the next stage. Here we see that the opportunity has been opened and the business process flow is now in the develop stage. Details like products and services that the lead is interested in, estimated revenue, and timelines are added here on the opportunity. We aren't gonna discuss opportunities in this video, but Dynamics does have the functionality to support the remainder of the sales cycle. The next step would be to create a quote for the opportunity that represents the formal prop proposal to the customer. When the customer agrees to the quote, an order is generated. The quote and opportunity associated with the order are then closed. After the order is fulfilled, an invoice is generated to bill the customer. This concludes our overview of leads in Dynamics 365. Please contact us to request a personal demo get support with Dynamics 365, or access our resource library. Thank you.